Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. So this is this month's Keep It Fix It Dump It. I think I say this every month. Where is the time going? It is nearly August. Do you remember when it was January? Okay, so keep it, fix it, dump it. I have some products here that I've been sent in PR or purchased myself and haven't had the chance to use just yet. So I'm gonna think, am I gonna keep them? Which means I'm gonna keep them. Am I gonna fix them? Which means in my mind, if I could fix the product to make it better work for me in some way, what would I do? Or I'm gonna dump them, which means I'm gonna donate them or put them in a giveaway box or keep them later for like a second chances video. So if this is your first time here, hi, my name is Robert. I'm a professional makeup artist here on YouTube and also in real life. It's my goal to help you become a pro yourself or just someone who's really good at makeup. Let me shuffle this way, yes. So if that sounds like something you are interested in, then do please consider subscribing. Okay, do bear with me while I'm getting my lighting bearings right. So I have primed my skin, I've primed my eyelids, and we're gonna go straight in with the eyes. Okay, so these are the eyeshadow palettes. These, these are from the What A Bombshell set from the Jasmine Chiswell collection. Now Jasmine Chiswell is a, I wanna say TikToker, but She's on social media everywhere. And she has this kind of like vintage style to her, like old Hollywood style. And when I saw this collection, this palette in particular, this kind of lighter pink with the, ah, with these shades inside really did give me that vintagey kind of Hollywood side. This color story here is very Marilyn Monroe. This blue eyeshadow is kind of like more later in time her, but these neutrals are very Marilyn Monroe. This palette with a little bit more color to it just here. Here. And there are some lip shades and everything like that, but I want to try something different today. So I actually have um, a discount code for ColourPop. I think it's just Robert. I can't remember. I'll leave it all down below for you if you want to do it. So let's just go into, what should we do? I don't even know where to go. So let's try this. What do I do? I don't really want to do like just blue. Okay, let's do like a, a brown crease with the blue on the lid. Let's see how that goes. So I'm gonna use a brush that's quite tapered. This is my Sigma Small Tapered Blending Brush. And let's go in for Picture Show, which is this deep brown. I still like that. And then we can do it, bring it in right here. I was just like sketching out this shape and now we can like do it properly. Very nice. It's going very smoothly. We'll cut that off, make it a little bit more um thingy. Let's go in with the shade Bombshell, which is this kind of like gray brown. And I just want to go on the inside here just to fade in that darker brown gently so it's not like harsh dark brown on the inside corner. And I'm almost gonna like halo the whole thing with that. Now, I don't usually like light blues. I mean like pastel light blues. So we'll see how this goes. I actually don't like pastels on me. Actually, pastel pink and pastel purple. It looks, to be fair, it looks very, very pigmented. I do just find sometimes colors like this can be very um, wish-washy. Nice, it is very pigmented. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting it to kind of like fade away as I blended it. It's always pastel colors I don't quite trust, you know? Oh my God, I actually really like that blue. It's very like original Barbie, you know what I mean? The blue is cute, I can deal with the blue, okay. <laughs> This is all from a pink palette, by the way. We'll take the white, it's called Silver Screen, and we'll just do a little bit on the inside right here. Now, as I said, the Ibis did come with lip colors. Um, actually, some nice um, ColourPop, like, staple products. But as you can imagine, being vintage kind of themed, they were all quite red toned, and I don't do color on the lip, really, for me. So, this is cute. I like this. Let me just blend that. Oh my God, I forgot to do my primer. This is the Elf Putty Primer with Vitamin C. Now, I don't know the benefits of Vitamin C <laughs> on the skin, but you know what? Let's try it and see how it is. Putty Primers, the Elf Putty Primers I like. I didn't like the Shimmer one. I believe that was the only one I didn't like. Just because I don't like Shimmer, it's not my personal favorite thing. Fring? Thing. Okay, this doesn't really smell like anything, which is nice. It still has that putty kind of texture to it. I'm gonna use it in the areas where, oh, 
and slightly more porous. So that's why I really like the putty primers. I think it's melted a little bit because it's so hot in this room at the moment. It's so weird, it doesn't have a smell. It doesn't even smell like the original putty primers. It just kind of smells... I don't know. I wonder if the texture is slightly thinner than the usual ones. Because it does feel more like, um, almost like a harder cleansing balm, but not oily. And it definitely isn't... It kind of feels like, like it's sunk in already. That's nice. Okay, let's do concealer foundation. I don't have a new one, so I'm just going to go in with my Rare Beauty concealer. The foundation is going on really nice and smoothly on top of a primer. You know what I need to start doing? I need to start not priming one side of my face when I'm testing primers and then prime the other side just so I can see if there really is a big difference. Some primers do make a big difference for me and others don't really. The Vitamin C primer, I'm gonna keep with a question, because I don't want to fix it, because I don't know what I would fix, but I want to give it a little bit more of a test. Let's finish up under these eyes. But so far with these, keep. I really like the blue. I really like the, the colour palette going on. Where is this? The colour palette. I think it's really, really nice. Um, Yeah, and I, it's kind of an unexpected, nice thing. I quite like this, like, random pop of blue with the neutrals. I think it's a good way to wear colour if you're not, like, crazy about colour, but want a bit of colour. Okay, let's try this. This is the Fenty Bronze Shimmer Powder. Is that what it's called? In Chocolate Swiller. This is beautiful. Look at this. <sighs> Mm, mm -hmm, mm. Oh, I came with a brush. Oh, where's a brush? I used it for something else. My life's a mess. Okay, let's give this a go. I'm just gonna kind of maybe start off using it as a... Actually, maybe I should swatch it and see. Okay, maybe a bit more of a bronzy kind of glow on me. Oh, <laughs> This is beautiful. So I'm kind of going to use this in a way that when you see it as shadow, it looks like a bronze, but when it moves into the light, it looks a bit more like highlight. I'm just going to powder very quickly. That's because I want to see what it looks like, like what the matte looks like. What the matte, what it, what the shine looks like against the matte. My skin is very textured recently, but that's life sometimes, you know. Cute. Okay, I put on some lip balm and now I need to take it off. So we're gonna keep this. This is cute. I really, really like it. My one thing is maybe I'll get a different color. If there's different colors, maybe a shade lighter because I feel like the it's almost too golden for my skin. This would look stunning on someone with a slightly deeper skin tone than me. So this is a product I already know I like, but let's try the Rare Beauty lipstick in Creative. This is it just here. You know a lipstick's good when you kind of want to just bite it, you know? Okay, right down a little bit, don't crazy. See, I love colours like this. The only thing is with me, I have such red areas around my lips that I, I need to almost erase my lip before I put a product on, which I always forget to do. It goes nicely with the blue. Oh, I love that. Ah! <laughs> this is really nice, just like neutral, almost could be lip colour peach. It's so light. It feels so lightweight. Keep, keep, keep forever. Love it. I need to get some lashes on. Okay, wait, is that it? Oh no. Okay, so I want to try this. This is from Be Perfect Cosmetics, and this is their lockdown powder. 3.0 is the shade, and I think it's like one of those old, I call it old school because I think everyone used translucent powder, but like a pressed powder to go on top of your makeup, which is what pressed powders are for. Actually, let me put my lashes on, and I want to try it last. Okay, where's my lashes? Oh no, I've just taken them off and put them anywhere. Shit. Do people still, when was the last time you used a powder that wasn't just a translucent powder that wasn't just like, um, you know, a baking powder or wasn't just a foundation powder? This is kind of that in-between 
like almost like finishing touch. Honestly, I don't know it's too much of a difference on my skin, but I do think that's the point. I think this will be really good on like um your no kind of makeup days when you just want something a little bit lighter or sheerer on the skin. It isn't like completely mattifying either. It has kind of left a bit of a shine, a glow to the skin. So if you do like that, then great. Yeah, I, I'm not sure what else to say about it. I'm gonna keep it, because I think it'll be nice, again, just to even out skin tone when you're not wearing too much foundation or you're not wearing foundation at all. So we'll keep that one. Okay, well that was Keep It, Fix It, Dump It for July. Let me know what products you like from this video below. Do consider subscribing and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you very, very soon. Thanks.